Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I do already have my base makeup on. Um, I just finished filming a first impression of the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus Foundation as well as, if I could find it, right in front of me, as well as the Dr. Brandt Pores No More um, face primer. So I have both of these on my face as well as of course my Benefit Matte Rescue Professional. And that's it. That's all I have on my face right now. So now we're going to get on to the makeup on the rest of the face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start with my brows and I'm using the Anastasia Brow Definer in Soft Brown. I'm using NW20 from MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And again, I go in the triangle formation because it gives me a lift and gives me more of a cheekbone appearance. So that's the technique I always, always, always use. <laughs> Now I'm going to take more of a skin toned concealer to spot conceal and this is the Maybelline Fit Me in the color shade or in the shade light. Alright, and now I'm going to go ahead and set everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Still using my beauty blender. Tap it in. We have a bunch right here on the tip. Pat it on. And then I'm going to just take a large fluffy face brush and do the remaining areas that have foundation. And to go ahead and go in with the eyes, I'm going to use a shadow primer real quick. And I am using Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer. Your shadow primers are just going to serve the purpose of prolonging the wear of your eyeshadows, making sure that it won't melt, crease, fade, and that it'll stay for a long time looking like you did when you first got done doing your makeup. You know, as you go about the day, your makeup tends to move a little bit because your face is moving, you're talking, you're laughing, you're smiling, whatever, and sometimes your makeup just doesn't quite hold up the way it should. Well, that's what shadow um, primer does, just like face primer, it helps keep your makeup where you put it. Also sweat resistant, that's important, <laughs> and humidity, which is very important here in Georgia. All right, so I am going to go in with Let's see, I'm gonna keep it pretty neutral today on the eye. So I'm going to go in first with Makeup Geek's Latte. It's just this really light, pretty brown shade. Actually, no, I'm gonna start with Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie. You know the drill. Love this, great transition color. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with that Latte. I just want to keep this in the outer corner, really. And then I'm going to take my Sigma E40 blending brush and blend all that out. Top Notch by Makeup Geek. Just a darker, um, ashy brown color. And then I'm gonna go in with this really pretty, um, warm, shimmery brown color called Homecoming. Blend it out. I'm gonna tap into a little bit of that peach smoothie and blend out those edges.
Clorox Pro Palette and use the shade Cream on the lid. And then I'm just gonna repeat the process on the other eye, and then we'll come back and get going yet again. Okay, now that we have both eyes on, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a brow highlight, and for that, I am going to use, from the Lorac Pro Palette as well, the color Champagne and Nude. I'm just gonna mix the two. All right, now I'm gonna go back to the face real quick, and we're gonna start bronzing and contouring. We're gonna use um, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I just have the little um, sample size. It really does smell like chocolate. <laughs> Sorry, I'm using a Morphe E3 brush. And now I'm going to take my NARS Eda brush and my Anastasia contour kit and I'm going to be mixing these two shades right here. My favorite part is contouring. Like I just love giving my face some depth and shape and I'm not just a big all round blob. <laughs> Don't forget under right at the jawline. We'll make it look more defined and kind of camouflage any double chinage you got going on, or I got going on. And I'm gonna hit right under the lip just to make it, my lips look a little bigger, appear a little more pouty. For blush, I am going to be using my new Tarte. Artiste blush palette, and I think wow, I love this. A little bit goes a long way. <laughs> oh, I love that I don't have to keep tapping into my dang blush just to get color to show up. That's awesome. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna go back to the eyes. And of course, I'm using my Benefit Their Real Mascara that I finally got a full-size version of. Um, today I'm using House of Lashes Iconic Lashes, which I've been using the past couple times, and the, their um, House of Lashes Lash Glue as well. It's just a brush applicator. I really love this glue keeps your lashes on all day. Until you are ready to take them off, they are not coming off. When you're not wearing liner and you're wearing falsies, you wanna make sure to get your lashes as close as you can to your natural lash line. All right, and I think I'm gonna take it a step further today and just really go all out there and I'm gonna add my blue contacts, so I will be right back with that. All right, contacts in, and these are Desio contact lenses in the color um, Icy Blue. So for the lip, I'm gonna go coral today. So I've got this Revlon Color Stay one in Creamy Coral. And then I'm gonna go over top of that with, we're gonna layer today, with NYX, NYX Lipstick and Watermelon. And then I'm gonna go over top of that <laughs> with CoverGirl Rapture number 280. And I just went over top all of those with NYX Matte Lipstick in the color Perfect Red. So now I kind of have the intense corally color that I was looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and set everything 
with my Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This is for oil control. I'm really happy with how it came out. You know, now that I have lighter hair, I'm really having to work with and see what makeup works and what looks good. And I am very pleased with how this came out today. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I really love how this turned out. <clears throat> Get yourself together. If you want to see the full review on how I'm liking this uh, foundation and um, pore minimizing primer, then go ahead and watch my other video. This could take place of my board this way. Let's not get crazy, but let's finish the review first. <laughs> All right, guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being such a big support to me, and um, thank you for just taking the time to send some comments and messages. And I love getting to know you guys. I love making new friends. And um, you guys throwing your suggestions my way on new looks to do. So keep them coming. Thanks for hanging out. And until next time, bye.